everybody, Aquagear here. Welcome back to another episode of Redstone Mini. Today we are going to be looking at a door. Yes, an amazing... No, you didn't just see it. It's going to be a door. It's not the most... Um, how do I say this? It's not the best door. It's just kind of a fun little door. But it can be used. Don't get it wrong. It's still a door. It's very low cost. But we will look at it right now. No, don't look inside. Uh, <laughs> anyway... Let's take a look, and I hope you guys enjoy. Welcome back, everybody. So, we are here with the door, and you might ask, have I gone totally insane? <laughs> it's just a big pile of stone, rocks, whatever. Well, that's the point of the actual door. It's a hidden door, so um, you might actually be able to spot the door, but the only problem is I whipped this up in three seconds. Imagine if this wasn't a huge mountain. You'd have to look around the entire mountain and somehow magically find a hole and you probably could have guessed this right here magically find a hole magically find how to open it magically think oh wait this might be a door so really if you think about it this is pretty well hidden and of course you can use this with anything cobble but really stone looks probably the most natural because it's like a mountain so yeah this is the actual door and don't worry the door isn't huge it's actually really small redstone which I will show you over there on the left but real quick let's take a look at it so one thing you might might have not noticed is there's actually a stone button right here so it's pretty well hidden in between everything so let's just say I was walking along and I somehow knew this was a door so if I click it I just walk through here and I'm free and that's really it and if we go back it's not hidden anymore but that's the point um, Really, that's one of the only downgrades of it. So really, that's me going through the door. Now I'm going to show you how to replace the door and actually use it. So one thing you do need is kind of blocks to reload it. So as you can see, there's stone back there. So just take two blocks of stone. So once you hit this, that stone will disappear and you walk back. But once you're on this side, put two blocks there and bam, it's all reloaded. Now if you come back here... It's all there. Now you can just go again. And then go back through and put blocks there. And really, where the blocks go, they just keep getting pushed down here. And there's a point where you have so many blocks won't get pushed anymore, but that's an easy fix. Just break the blocks and you can have more space. So, yep, that's really it. And then the redstone's back here, but I will show you the redstone in a much simpler way. But really, how this works is, if I break this... And there is a piston right here. So what happens is if I put a block right here, this button will push it forward, and then this will push it that way. And then that's why the blocks get pushed back here. And of course, on the other side, that's where you have to reload it. Like that. But that is the door. But let's actually look how to build it now. The simple redstone without the whole huge mountain is only this. Very simple very cool so just imagine again this is the door right here there's a roof and everything so what you do is the door is hidden like that there's no door you hit this button and this pushes it here and then this pushes it one more side and you can see it created this so that's really it just brings you here and then once you're on this side block it up and it's clear again on the other side so it's actually really easy uh, red so you can just do it again Do it again. And you can keep doing it until there's not enough blocks for it to push. Then just break these. And literally, this is an infinite door. Only downside is you need blocks to put back here. But that's probably the least of the worries. So really, how to build it is just put two normal pistons here. Go one over, one down, another one down, one more over. And these are sticky pistons. Put stone on these. And then over here, just put where you want the button. Make it go into four ticks into these two. And then just make this go into no ticks for these two. Because we need this one to go off first to push it. Then we need this one to go off second to push it one more over. So make sure you have four ticks on that one and then no ticks on that one. And just kind of make like a little L. And that's that's all you need. But there's also, also pros and cons which we will look at. Now first, to be positive, let's look at the pros of the redstone. It can be hidden. As you can see over there, you can hide it in a mountain, whatever, so that's pretty cool. Next is any material. So 
that's another thing I already said. Here you can make it out of stone, wood, brick, cobble. I just think stone looks probably the most natural. Next is low cost. Really, this, the whole building thing, doesn't take a whole lot of cost unless you build out of diamond blocks, but who would do that? <laughs> Honestly. And next is low redstone. Really, all it takes is two pistons, two sticky pistons, one repeater, and one, two, three, four, five, six. Six um, pieces of redstone, and obviously a button. So, those are all the pros. So, it's probably really easy to build. It's really simple to understand. So, anyone can really build it. Probably the only tricky part is actually hiding it. Now, there's always some cons. So, must be put on a wall. So, you can't just make this go down or up. You kind of have to have it against a wall, which can sometimes be bad, but, I mean, if you don't want it on the wall, just do a different door. Next, is no, there is no escape exit. So, really, everything's hidden. When you walk in, you come here, but the only problem is you're kind of stuck on this side. I mean, my solution to it is just fly over with creative, but the only problem, what if people didn't survive? I mean, I guess you could just pluck a hole in, walk through, pluck up. Uh, plug it back in but yeah so you, there's no really button to get it back through unless you just leave it open and you walk back in and then replace it and then you do that you come back through just leave it open so really it's kind of a sore subject but just forget about that also nothing's perfect <laughs> smelly face and lastly it needs two blocks to be reloaded so you always need the certain block to reload it with I mean if you really wanted to, you could keep a chest right here, put blocks in there to always replace it, but that's kind of a bother. But really, that's the only big bother is you need to reload it. But guys, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you guys use this door because I enjoyed making it. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like and a comment as it supports my channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.